New Star Wars Black Series Vintage Collection and Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro, a Marvel Select Avengers Endgame Thanos, all that and more coming up today. So let's jump into it. <laughs> Oh, you action figure enthusiasts out there JC here and we've got breaking news straight from the Paris comic convention that I wanted to share with you today now if you're not familiar there's actually two conventions taking place this weekend the first one is the Paris Comic Con obviously in Paris and then the second one is the MCM convention which takes place in London and Hasbro is actually attending both conventions and will be revealing throughout the weekend new product for today, we got some reveals from Paris for Star Wars and Power Rangers. And then for like you Marvel fans, the first reveals are expected to come very early tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. Eastern time. So you know, either if you're on the West Coast, you're gonna be getting up, maybe staying up late or getting up early uh, tomorrow morning and there should be some new Marvel reveals waiting for you. I don't know exactly what they'll be, but probably maybe the new Build-A-Figure for either the Fantastic Four or Spider-Man wave, or maybe some more figures from the X-Force wave, or possibly a few more store exclusives. We'll just have to wait and see. But for today, we did get some reveals on the Power Rangers front. The third wave of Lightning Collection figures has been confirmed officially. The wave had been rumored for a little while now, the full wave, and then we actually started to see figures leak out overseas for three of the figures. So it was really the uh, fourth figure that was officially confirmed today. And um, basically the, the wave is going to include uh, a Red Ranger from the Mighty Morphin line, and then uh, for Dino Charge, we're getting a Gold Ranger, and then for Beast Morphers, we're getting a Blue Ranger, and then finally the, the fourth figure, which was uh, officially confirmed today, was the Lord Dracon figure, which is based on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and his appearance in the Boom Studio comic. So uh, Hasbro going a little EU expanded universe with this line, which is pretty cool. Now these figures incorporate unmasked and masked head sculpts. They have the photo reel technology that Hasbro has been using with like their Black Series and Marvel Legends and uh, should be up for pre-order now as you're watching this video. Places like Big Bad Toy Store should have the wave up for pre-order. And then on the Star Wars front, it was revealed for Vintage Collection, it was revealed that they're going to be releasing figures based on the Mandalorian TV series that's coming to the Disney Plus service. Now they only announced one figure today, but they plan on revealing more figures for the Mandalorian TV series at MCM, which that news should come out tomorrow. And then there's two more conventions taking place overseas next weekend, and we'll get uh, more reveals for the Mandalorian stuff then as well. But for today, it was revealed that they're doing Cara Dune, the character Cara Dune, and they've already announced that they're doing a six inch black series figure of her. And now she's gonna be getting the three and three quarter inch treatment as well. I'm sure Mandalorian is going to be, obviously gonna be one of the figures that they announce as well and, and probably a few others, but uh, definitely Cara Dune uh, officially confirmed today and we should get some more reveals on that front tomorrow. And then for black series, it was announced that they are going to be announcing eight different prequel characters this weekend and next at these EU conventions. And for today at the Paris Comic Con, they announced that they're doing Anakin Skywalker based on his appearance in episode two, as well as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi, I guess technically based on his uh, episode two version. And those are just the first of eight that they're gonna be revealing. Now, we, we've seen rumors for Jar Jar Binks. I know there's a lot of Jar Jar fans out there. And then also the other one that's been rumored is Count Dooku, which I'm definitely hoping for. I also hope that we're gonna get like a destroyer droid. And then others, I'm sure some of those are gonna include more clones. Hasbro loves their clones and then maybe some more Jedi as well. But again, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow and then next weekend. But you know, if you're a prequel fan, been wanting more Black Series pre prequel figures, I, I, you know, I think that's definitely cool that they've got eight characters in the pipeline. Now on the Marvel front, I don't have any Marvel Legend news for you guys today. Again, that'll be coming tomorrow and Sunday. But for Marvel Select, we actually got a surprise this week uh, via the Disney Store catalog. So in that catalog, it revealed that two new Marvel Select figures are coming. These are Disney Store exclusives and they're gonna be released in December, at least based on what the catalog says. 
And the two figures are Captain Marvel based on her appearance in her own movie. And she's going to come with Goose the Cat and then Thanos from Avengers Endgame, which I know people, a lot of people are excited about. Um, we're hoping Diamond Select Toys would actually do a Marvel Select Thanos. Now, these pictures aren't the greatest, so hopefully, you know, like in this image, I don't think the Thanos figure looks that great. The legs look a little too tall and his weapon looks small, but I think that's just the angle and stuff. So hopefully we'll be getting some official images either up on their website or what have you in the near coming days. But I definitely think it's pretty cool. Now, these figures are said to cost only $25 each. I believe the normal cost for Marvel Select figures these days is $30 but looks like these are, are staying at the original 25. Based on magazine scans, it looks like we're gonna be getting a Mafex version of the Spider-Man upgraded suit from Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, the figure looks to have basic accessories, multiple hands, different kinds of eyes and web effect pieces and such. The figure is going to be out in July 2020 and hopefully official images should be released soon. And then just a couple other quick updates I wanted to share with you guys today. So Tomasi Nations overseas is holding their own Tomasi Nation 2019 event where they're showing off a few new things. So for Dragon Ball fans, they've got their SH figure Son Goku Keakuen. I, I, I'm not even, I don't know. The guy, he's all red and everything. Um, again, as I say many times, I, I'm not a huge Dragon Ball fan. So these names, uh, I'm not even going to try with that one. But essentially, uh, Son Goku, which looks like is uh, done with up in translucent type red. And he's got the display pieces and everything. The figure's not translucent, but he's got the uh, red translucent pieces. He's wearing an all red outfit. He's got the black hair that's sticking up. I want to say that they've done this figure before, but this looks like an update version I might be wrong on that but that was announced and then also for you Godzilla fans they showed off a burning Godzilla and this one is translucent does have translucent plastic in it uh, looks pretty cool and essentially it's made to look like he's on fire also on hand at the Tomasi Nations event is a new updated version of the SH figure. It's Iron Spider figure. This one seems to be based on the Avengers Endgame with the red eyes, his instant kill mode. No release date information or anything. Now this image comes via Twitter and I will put a link to the source of the image in the video description below. For you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, Super 7 this week released concept art for the packaging for their new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates line. Now this is subject to change pending licensing approval, but for the most part, I think this is what the packaging will end up looking like. It's pretty basic, looks pretty basic to me. Uh, it's a window box. I don't really care about the packaging. I open my figures and usually throw the packaging away so to me it doesn't really matter what it looks like but I know some of you do like to keep your stuff in the packaging so I wanted to make sure you got a look at this now these figures are currently up for pre-order and I believe they're up for pre-order for about another week so if you haven't secured these and you want to get them you should probably go on and do that they are available at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Megalopolis Toys for you fans of Westworld Diamond Select Toys released official images for their second wave of select Westworld figures. So this is the HBO series. I caught the first season of it, but I, I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was great. And I, I've not yet watched anything from the second season. But wave two is gonna include Bernard, Teddy, and Clementine. And those figures are currently available for pre-order. And then the final bit of news I have for you guys today comes on the NECA front. And again, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So this week, a new image, a behind the scenes image was released, giving us our first glimpse at the Krang figure in the Android body. So it looks like they're definitely doing Krang. And you know, these are just parts unpainted, you know, early prototype parts. But the main thing about this image is it tells us that figure is coming. And then for those of you hoping to secure the second wave of animated series Target exclusive figures from NECA, those figures look like are gonna be available on the Target Store website. They Target has started to sell uh, directly NECA figure or NECA products on there, and it does look like the turtles will be included with that. Now, right now, there are placeholders for all four of the turtle figures in the second wave, or two packs, I should say, um, on the website. If you go to Toy News International, I'll put a link to the direct story, then you can follow the direct links. You can't find them on a search, at least last time I checked, so you do have to go through the direct links. 
and they're not yet available for purchase, but hopefully very soon. So you can like request to have a notification when they're in stock. I don't know how reliable that will be, or you can just monitor the link and, and hope, hope that you get lucky when, when you check it and they happen to be in stock. But again, it does look like they're gonna carry that second wave of figures. And just to recap, that wave includes the Rocksteady and Bebop, which is gonna definitely be the most popular set in the series. You're also getting a Foot Soldier 2-pack, an Army Builder 2-pack, and then uh, redecoed versions of Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and, uh, and Donatello. So same figures as we got in the first wave, only with a little bit different deco of paint. So those will probably be the least popular, but I, I think there was probably quite a few missed out on the first wave. So they may just opt to pick these up as, as opposed to trying to get the ones from the first wave. Now, again, I don't have any exact release date. They should be out soon. And I, again, would just keep monitoring the Target website if you want to try and buy them online. Okay, so that's it for today. I, there definitely should be some more news this weekend, uh, especially for Marvel Legend fans. So um, I'm hopeful we're gonna see some cool stuff uh, tomorrow and Sunday. I may not do another news video until Sunday, you know, just wait until Sunday and, and recap the remaining stuff that gets announced this weekend, but definitely keep it to Marvelous News for, uh, and we'll update there as soon as, soon as, as the stuff is revealed. So until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great!